Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in the shop and we are going to test the new Royal Paddle R line. I am in our shop at the moment, so we have a lot of Royal Paddle rackets. People like them a lot in the shop. And now we have the new ones and the new R line is different from last year. The holes are now everywhere in the racket as you can see. So last year's model, the Fury, and uh, you have this open thing in the middle and here it's all holes uh, everywhere. The length of the racket is also shorter. So you can see that the grip is shorter at the moment. And uh, because, they did, uh, because they did that, it just feels like it is a little bit easier to maneuver this year. So we have three models. The polyethylene version, the Control X, the hybrid and the Fury. So the yellow one, the Control X, is with polyethylene. Polyethylene is the most arm friendly material that you can put inside a racket to make it very, very arm friendly because it absorbs all the shock. So this is also the softest racket. This is 16K carbon. The higher you go in carbon, the less power, the more control. So you can see here, black, white, black, white. So the size of the blocks the, is the hardness of your racket. So the smaller the blocks, the higher uh, the. So the smaller the blocks, the closer you are to 3k carbon. So this is 12k carbon. This is 16k carbon. You can see that the blocks are way bigger. Yeah, and then you have the fury here. And it's even difficult to see, but it's 3k carbon and the blocks are very, very small. It's not even a block anymore. So this means you have more power. So that's why the Fury is the power racket. Okay, in defense, the M27 Control X, the new R-Line. Extreme easy to play with from the back of the court. I would say that is a very big in improvement if you talk about how easy it is to maneuver the racket around and how soft it actually feels. It feels different from last year. The holes are everywhere in the racket. I think it makes a difference. It plays like a nine, nine out of 10 from defense because it feels super soft. Very easy to maneuver especially if you compare it to last year's model. The grip is shorter, I think it has something to do with it, but it is much, much easier to, to play with this racket. Uh, last year, this was advanced to use this racket, advanced players, now everybody could play with this racket. If you like the whip, you can upgrade to the R-Line this year, because it is easier. It is not advanced anymore. Very easy, very easy. A big difference in how easy this one plays in comparison to last year. Insane improvement in maneuverability. Now let's check out how these bad boys play. The hybrid is harder. If you were playing with the whips, you can now try one of these online rackets because they play way easier than last year. Yeah, it is a little bit less easy to play with. The Control X is super soft. It's, it's a, it feels as easy as the whip. The online hybrid, I think it would be a 8.5. Yeah, and it's just slightly harder which makes it a little bit less easy to maneuver the ball around, but it gives more power. And it's still very easy to maneuver. The holes are everywhere now, it is easier. And the Fury is hard to rate because I'm, I played my, my matches already with, with the Fury. Very nice. Yeah, I already played a lot with the Fury, so I don't have to test it a lot. But I just need to feel the difference. And it is way more powerful. 
Uh, it's not way more, it's power, more powerful. And it is, you feel that it's harder, but not extremely hard. Not like the last year Fury. This is way more controllable than last year. Last year the Golden Fury was like a power racket. And now that this became a control racket. It still has 3K carbon, so it's still powerful. So 3K is more carbon or more powerful than 16K. The, this one is controllable, easy to maneuver around now. And from defense, a very good racket. I would also say it's 8.5 out of 10 to use this from the back of the court if it comes down to controlling your shots. The hybrid! Better, more control. Sweet spot is smaller. Okay, kick. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. It's not extremely powerful, but it gets the job done in the control you get back. The Fury, the most powerful one, 3K carbon. Way more power, <coughs> it's a uh, very big difference with the hybrid. One. Look how much higher this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, Fury. That's three. Three in a row. Fury, 100% for me. Big, big difference than last year. Especially in. Viboras, I would say the Control X has the most control. The hybrid is perfectly in between and the Fury is the same as the hybrid, but it just feels like the Fury is the best one from these this year for me. For bandejas and volleys, I think this is 8.0. Hybrid, I would say 8.0 and Fury for me, uh, 9. Kick smash. Uh, for the kick smash, I felt like, okay, I could brush the ball, but it's not a power racket, it's a control racket. It's not like the Control X of last year. The Control X last year had more power and less control. This has more control and less power. So I think this is 70% control and 30%
power. I would say this is a Smash 7.0. Smash with the hybrid was okay, it was better than with the, um, with the yellow one. I just was a little bit less accurate, so I was not playing the ball uh, balls exactly where I wanted. And with the Fury, I actually felt like I had way more power. So for me, Fury is the best racket from the R line. I haven't tested the Ace yet. That's a new version, and it's going to be a diamond shaped racket, um, softer than the Royal Paddle Fury. The Fury is the hardest racket that they have. So for me, the Fury. I need it because I need, just need to have that extra power for the kick smash. I would recommend the, the Control X if you are a low level player to medium if you like to play with control or you like to play on the right side. I think the Control X is amazing. If you are advanced medium, I would say hybrid also for right side players. And if you play on the left, it must be the Fury or the ace. I felt like with the control from 2022 I had more power, but this is easy to use. So I improved a lot in Bandejas Vibora's uh, defense and also with the volleys, but I downgrade a little bit with the smash if I'm completely honest. So um, they are very good rackets, you have a lot of control, you're gonna like them, but if you played with the, uh, uh, with the last year models of the R-Line before, I would recommend to upgrade one. So if you played with the hybrid, play with the Fury. If you played with the Control X, play with the hybrid. Because then it makes a little bit more sense. So I hope this helped you. This is my honest review. And um, if you want to see more reviews, then let me know below. And um, yeah, that's it. Hasta luego. Ciao, adios.